Mothman is a creature that uh, primarily is seen around Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And it's a 10-foot creature with wings like a moth, red eyes, and it uh, flies around terrorizing people and the locals in the area. Um, the first place it was actually seen, though, was in Clendenin, West Virginia, which is a few miles to the east of there. And it um, f was sighted by two grave diggers as they were digging a grave in a cemetery. And Mothman just kind of flew up over their head and they were like, what the heck? And like it flew off away from them. And then later on in Point Pleasant, they started seeing it flying around the city. And then the men in black started showing up. Um, and this was in 1966, 67. And people gave it the name Mothman because the Batman TV series was really popular then. And they named it Mothman after Batman, Mothman. So, you know, the word association there uh, helped with the naming of it. It chased cars. It didn't, I don't think it really attacked anyone. Um, it did chase vehicles while they were on the road. People would see it standing in the middle of the highway when they were, you know, driving down. Their, their headlights would reflect off of its eyes and then it would like, you know, they would stop their car and then it would fly away and they'd be like, oh my gosh, that was Mothman, you know. And, uh, but the, the end of the story was pretty tragic. The Silver Bridge, which connected West Virginia to Ohio in Point Pleasant there, uh, actually collapsed on December 15th, 1967. And when it collapsed, it killed 45 people. They, they fell into the river and drowned. And it was a few weeks before Christmas, so of course there's Christmas presents floating in the water. Um, there's, there's vehicles, there's all these rescue missions going on. And people said that they saw Mothman flying across the bridge before it collapsed, or standing on the bridge before it collapsed. And when it was found out that one of the links that held the bridge together broke and that caused the chain reaction that led to its collapse. Uh, they blamed Mothman for it. it. It's all very how you want to see it. You know, it's, it's all, it's, it, it could be or couldn't be uh, a harbinger of doom. You know, whenever Mothman appears, something bad is going to happen. So of course, every time there's a disaster, they've seen Mothman, you know, during earthquakes or 9-11. Uh, I remember Mothman was, was sighted at the Twin Towers before they collapsed. It could just be, maybe he's warning people, this is going to happen, you need to be careful. You know, he's not the bad guy, he's not causing it. He's just, he's, he's seeing down the road a little bit further than we are. So I, I like to think of it that way. I don't like to think of Mothman as being the bad guy. I think probably most people see him as more of a villain, but honestly he could be both. In, in, in many ways he is both, because there's no actual proof that he caused the collapse. He could have just been saying, hey, it's going to happen, look out. You know, I'm up here on the bridge pointing out the break. You know, <laughs> it's, <laughs> so it's, you know, it could be or it couldn't be. And like I said, it's all in how you interpret the story and all in how you, you know the legend. But I'm sure that people who lost loved ones in Point Pleasant when the bridge collapsed see him very much as a villain. I can't blame them. And so there was this huge investigation and, uh, and to the, still to this day, uh, I believe people claim to see Mothman uh, around Point Pleasant, not so actively as in the 60s, but the TNT area there is uh, allegedly the place where he was created um, because the TNT area is where they made a lot of explosives during World War II for the ordinances and somehow the chemicals they want to say mutated either a person or a bird or both into Mothman and this creature is still living in the TNT area. Uh, of Point Pleasant, which is actually kind of a wooded area. It's kind of wild, swampy area. So there, there could be creatures living there, you know. <laughs> I don't know if Mothman is one of them. My papa was actually one of the uh, two National Guardsmen that saw the thing in the tree at the um, TNT area, because that's where they used to do like test vehicles and war games and things like that and have drills out there. And he and another guy that he worked with were out there working on a vehicle and saw this big thing in the tree. And he came home, told my nanny about it, my grandma. And of course, you just had to know her. She was like, you're crazy if you tell people you saw that, they're gonna think you're crazy. So he never talked about it. But then years down the line, we kind of did some of our own research. My mom would have been nine and 10 when all that happened. So she remembers him talking about it. And then we found out that the guy that he worked with, like all the time, he always got paired up with this guy, was the one that we had confirmed had seen this thing in the tree. And it would be very, very rare for Pawpaw not to be the other guy working with him. So it all just kind of fell into place. If you go there, uh, unfortunately the Mothman Festival this year was canceled. 
um, due to COVID. Uh, but you know, the festival is a really, really nice festival to go to. I, I've performed there uh, as a ghost storyteller. There's a Mothman Museum. You can get a Mothman pizza, have a Mothman cappuccino. There is a Mothman statue in the middle of town. Get your picture taken with Mothman, you know, and it's, it's an awesome day out trip to just take in, in West Virginia and, and learn a little bit about, you know, our paranormal history we have. We have anything and everything Mothman. We are in the gift shop of the world's only Mothman Museum. Pretty much if you can put Mothman on it, we've got it. <laughs> Except for underwear. But that is a thing, believe it or not. Um, but we've got shirts, galore, magnets, postcards, little toy things, stuffed animals, hats, literally just about anything you can think of. <laughs> I have known Jeff, the owner of the museum, pretty much since I was born. Um, his dad was in the National Guard with my pawball, so him and my mom are about five years apart in age. So they kind of grew up knowing each other. And then I took guitar lessons from Jeff. And then over the years, it just kind of became a thing and Mothman happened and I did the Mothman pageants when we had those. And I was the 2010 Miss Mothman Festival. And I was also 2016 Miss. But it all kind of spiraled from there and Mothman literally kind of became my life scary as that is <laughs> and they were getting ready to open our sister store and they're like hey do you want to come work at the sister store I was like well duh you don't turn down a chance to work at the Mothman Museum that's no so now I actually work here the sister store and the other sister store so if everywhere I go is Mothman 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 but I'll take it it gives me something to talk about to the point that people are like oh yeah you're that Mothman girl yeah that's me <laughs> well the festival is huge first and foremost um, we're a town of about it kind of wavers between 4,000 to 6,000 people in Point Pleasant, Mason County. And when we have the festival, it can go upwards of 10 to 12,000 people visiting. So it, you know, triples our typical population, but you'll be on Main Street and it is packed. <laughs> and speaking of like the fallout games and everything like that, after that happened, we got a whole new resurgence of people. Um, and it's been that way ever since, which, you know, unfortunately we haven't got to have it this year or last year. But cross your fingers for 2022. <laughs> but um, it's, it's packed. We've got vendors from all over, food that has to do with Mothman, of course. Um, but you cannot move on the street. Like, you get out there and it's, it's elbow to elbow, you know. But it's, it's so much fun. You meet so many cool people. They come from everywhere. We get a lot of people that this is their primary destination, but then we also get a lot of people that are traveling from one point to another and see either the billboard or they've heard about Point Pleasant or Mothman some way down the line, and they're like, oh, we gotta pull over. We have people go like two or three hours out of their way just to stop here. <laughs> so that's, that's really cool, but most people, that is their main reason for visiting. We have bus tours that go out into the TNT area. Um, there's also a hay ride that you can go on, but I'm actually one of the only three tour guides that do the hay ride, but uh, you go out on a little hay wagon through the TNT area and there's a bunch of actors and it's really kind of a comedic scary approach, <laughs> but it's so much fun. Um, we have cosplayers that walk around. We have um, Sasquatch and Stormtroopers and Ghostbusters and pretty much you name it, it's probably gonna walk around here somewhere. <laughs> but um, then you kind of got to watch your back for the men in black, you know, they, they hover around every everywhere you never know well you might be staying there one might pop up behind you you know well usually we'll go i see you what are you doing don't talk about anything it, it, they're really good really good <laughs> and actually one of them you might see pop up around here during certain weekends <laughs> he likes to come and check things out there's always going to be the ones that aren't real into it i mean that's that's anywhere um most locals are all for it, you know, because before Mothman things took off around here, it was pretty much dead. Like, even when I was growing up, Main Street was empty. And now, I don't know if you all have walked up and down, but we've got shops in the, the buildings, and people are coming in, and it's thriving again, thank goodness. Um, so a lot of people are glad about that. Um, <laughs> the only thing that I think ever gets complained about is the traffic. <laughs> Because we are a one street town and, you know, if everybody comes in, it gets a little congested, but we deal with it. And then you have the families that are like me and I've just, I've kind of grown up with this stuff. So, you know, even before the movie came out, I knew what it was and, you know, but that was probably just because of 
Paw Paw and Mom and Dad and all that because they were around when all that happened. And of course, the bridge falling was a big part of growing up because every time you go across the bridge, you think about it. It's like people from Point Pleasant, we, we don't like bridges. Um, but uh, it's just, it really depends on who you talk to. But most people are, are pretty much all for it. Thankfully. He's definitely done a lot for our town, and as they say, if he comes back wanting royalties, we're in big trouble. So. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Reality is, is one of those things where you live in it, and you know, yes, Mothman is probably an owl. It's probably a, a giant crane. It's probably a heron. It's probably somebody had a little too much to drink or, you know, something, and they imagined it, or maybe they were just, you know, sleepy when they were driving and thought they saw Mothman. But isn't isn't the world a little bit better because we have Mothman? I mean, the magic, the mystery, the, the ghosts and monsters, that's what makes the world a magical place. And I don't want to live in a world without them.